Hello YouTube and today I'm reviewing some of the 3.75 inch figures. Now I'm going to review the Doctor Fist because, you know, you've got to review the main character. I would like to have done the monsters first, but um, I want to start off with the, you know, the main sort of characters. Um, so this will be the most in-depth video on the packaging for, seri uh, for these figures and um, the rest of the reviews will literally be like, oh this is a packaging, this is a figure, six to collect, and then on the back, that's basically going to be it, but this is going to be, be about two minutes, as I say. Um, so if we look at the actual figure, no, the actual packaging, sorry, we've got a nice picture of the TARDIS 5 Plus Series 7 figure collection, and we've got this nice pic, well we've got the figure displayed quite nicely it shows all the accessories what it comes with the stand which looks huge probably is huge when it's out of the box um, you've got the sonic screwdriver which is a bit disappointing but you sort of got to expect it it's just basically silver with a bit of black and white and gold then we've got the actual Matt Smith figure now he does look pretty freaky from what I can see on here um, yeah, if you haven't heard the news, on Saturday there was a leak that Matt Smith was leaving. Um, I genuinely feel that Matt Smith is making a big mistake. I think he should do another series just to, you know, establish a role a bit more. Because here, look back and think, hang on, the stories weren't that great. Um, because the stories haven't been there for him, and I do like Matt's Doctor. Um, for the background of the car, we've got this nice sort of Gallifrey in lines going along. And it's done like some Gallifrey um, sort of symbol or lettering. Six figures to collect. Doctor Who, DW, the Doctor character. Uh, we've got some company sort of info. And then we've got Nauta Pre, Sad Onion. Um, and on the back, we've just basically got the figures in the way, the Doctor. Just zoom in a bit. The Doctor, Clara, Ice Warrior, Cyberman, um, Weeping Angel and Dalek, six to collect. Now they don't state that there are rares in the wave, I think they are expecting you to um, sort of find them and then, you know, um, six figures to collect, more, you know, stuff about health and safety. Then we've got some play sets, we've got the Dalek. Um, Invasion playset include exclusive. I like how they've highlighted that yellow just to make it seem, you know, if it's exclusive to the set. Uh, the Dalek hover, hover boat accessory. Then we got the Cold War set, which has a different picture of the Ice Warrior out of its suit. Now it, it says includes Ice Warrior creature figure accessory. Um, and we've just got a picture of the set five plus. Now, when I received these figures, which was just a few. Um, moments ago um, it came on this with this box um, Doctor Who toys and figures and you'll notice um, Doctor Who figure Cyberman with arm gun solid pack so this used to contain all the Cybermen with the arm guns which is intriguing but I was expecting to find a Cyberman with an arm gun in there but um, got the normal one but it just doesn't bother me I'll probably find them later but anyhow, I am going to get the Doctor out and review him. Uh, so I've got the Doctor out of the packaging. Now I've had these figures, well the figures out of the box for um, about a week now just to get used to them and um, yeah. So just give you a quick look, we've got the ice warrior there. Oh, I'll just zoom in over there, bring him closer. You can see he's really cool. I bought two Ice Warriors. Um, the Daleks are really cool actually, I really do like the Daleks. And we've got the Doctor which we will be looking at in a minute. TARDIS, Clara, another Dalek and then the Cybermen which I think are really cool. Um, yeah, so if I just move some of these out of the way. So, um, we can focus on the Doctor because these figures will have a bit of time to shine later on in their reviews. Um, yeah, if we just put him there and put him there. Okay, so here is the Doctor. 
So if I run through the articulation, the head does a full 360 degree turn. When I got him out of the box, his head did um, pop off. Um, as you can see, it's just on a simple sort of peg. Um, I wouldn't advise, you know, trying to take his head off. Um, the arm does a full 360 degree turn and it is on a ball joint so you can do many Matt Smith poses like that um, him that um, you've got an elbow joint uh, the wrist, wrists do move um, they do a 360 but they are stiff when you get them stiff when you get them from what I know there is no waist articulation um, but leg articula well no waist sorry I probably said yeah so leg articulation is just basically the knee and the boot, what well, I was quite surprised to find out that they do a full 360. So that's just basically the articulation for this figure. Um, yeah, pretty good articulation for the size of the figure. Um, yeah, so if you look at the detail now, we have this nice sort of brown wash over um, his hair which highlights some of the sort of effect, I don't know if you're picking it up on camera um, yeah so if you just look at the face, now it does resemble, just taking off his stand because you can't get him on the right thing he does sort of resemble Matt Smith, I mean once you start fiddling around with him and you know, put him in numerous poses you can see that it does sort of resemble Matt Smith, I think it's a hair what sort of ruins the figure um, but there was an image what of this figure what actually really did look like Matt Smith and it was a different head so maybe we'll see that head later on um, yeah so the head is pretty cool um, if we look at the coat we've got this nice pocket sculpted there we've got some nice sort of um, lines on the lapel so he could put like a brooch or pin badge on there we've got some things where he would um, sort of fasten his coat got his, these nice creases going down um, to give it this realistic effect on the back we've got some creases so where the jacket would sort of you know sort of crimple um, yeah um, on the sleeve I think this is very good attention to the detail you've got some buttons I don't know if you can make it out but you can just see them about there is really cool I think that is a really nice effect and good attention to detail um, yes yeah, so we've got his blue sleeve hanging out there um, which is quite nice um, instead of just having a solid sort of having his coat just the solid main dominant color on his arm um, yes yeah, so we look at the shirt now and bow tie. The bow tie looked paint, um, painted on on the prototype but it is actually sculpted on which I'm really pleased and glad about. Now the shirt, if I can just get it a bit dark, you can see there are buttons sculpted, hopefully you can. Um, the waistcoat, um, there is a variant of this, you can get a pale purple one, um, a dark purple and I think a black a waistcoat one. I think that's the only sort of difference I think. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to compare them in the shop weather, you know, with this pale purple and stuff, so it seems a bit silly, really. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got these nice buttons uh, sculpted on. Now, the legs, I think, have done really well. Um, we've got these nice creases, um, a nice matte black colour. We've got his trousers sort of rolled up. So if you look at the boots, now we can see he's got his laces sculpted on, which is really clever. Well, not really clever, but it's really nice to have this. It gives it a nice sort of realistic finish to the figure. And so just leaving it, you know, brown, just sort of brown without any sort of detail. Yeah, so overall, um, very good detail for this figure. Um, yeah, he co accessory wise, he comes with his three wise, he comes with his stand, which personally I think is too big for the actual figure um, I would like them to be a bit smaller these stands now you can see that sort of peg there that can 
clip onto any of these feet. Now, some of the new series figures and classic, I believe, have a sort of hole in their feet, so you can put, you know, a um, hopefully it will go on. Hang on. Hopefully, I can do this. Um, you can put a series five Matt Smith figure on the on the stand. Yeah, I do use DVDs and books to use as a tripod. Um, he comes with his trusty sonic screwdriver, what Matt Smith seems to use quite a bit in his era. Um, yeah, now this is the first closed sonic screwdriver. I think, well, no, we have the 10 inch closed sonic screwdriver, but it's, yeah, I suppose people will be wanting um, an open sonic screwdriver now for these for this figure but I don't think it is possible I think it will just look a bit messy so I think that was a wise move to change it to a closed screwdriver yeah so if we just look at the main colour scheme it's gold, white, um, black and silver um, no green tip probably because it would have looked a bit too you know scruffy if they did do it yeah so let's do a height comparison now the Doctor is a really good you know figure to stand so if I just get a Star Wars figure they're not really exactly on the 3.75 inch thing but they're near enough so I get a Daypole figure and put it in there we are there well the Daypole figures were a bit out of proportion now the main criticism I have with these small figures are the sort of width for them I mean I would like them to have be a bit more chunky like this. I know this is a, some sort of space pilot, but you know, it can still have a bit of chunkiness really to the figure. Because I think these are really narrow and you know, they're just really fiddly. I think these are more aimed at collectors than kids really. And just to be displayed, that's why they've got stands, you know. And to stand really. So it, it yeah I do think uh, I think they're a bit too thin really I think they should be a bit wider just to you know make them seem a bit better and more compatible with other ranges. So if I compare them to John Pertwee, well the Depot one now this is just going to be really strange to see because the John Pertwee figure was totally out of proportion. Um, yeah. As you can see, quite a big difference. So if we put the Doctor up against his beloved TARDIS. The ice rose probably going to come crashing down. Yeah, so he is in scale with the TARDIS. Just zoom out there. Yeah. Um, I do like this figure. It's um, a really good figure. It's quite nice just to pose around and display and yeah so my next 3.75 inch figure review will be of Clara which looks surprisingly like Jenna Louise Coleman um, probably one of the best Claras I've seen really um, because other ones just look absolutely terrible for um, other, other people well some of them look like she's aged 40 years and been on drugs which is crazy but anyway thank you for watching this review and i will see you in my clara review